special reason for owning silver, and the obvious is this. It was money of the ancients, and you know, the ancients were right. The ancients had more wisdom than you think. And despite all the, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what the hell to call them, you know, the professional bullshit out there, that they will not, uh, they will ignore physical metals as they're something archaic. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, people who sell snake oil, professionals, so many times will ignore the most basic things because they can't, you know, put smoke and mirrors out there. In other words, silver is simple. It's either you have it or you don't, or whatever it is, you can't, you can't change it. It's basically just there. You can't make it out of nothing. Now, somebody actually uh, commented a little bit about diamonds, and uh, that's one area that's dangerous unless you really know what the hell you're doing. Um, so I had a friend of mine, well, he's still a friend, but he's, uh, he's from South Africa, and he actually knows a lot about this type of stuff, the diving industry, the gold industry and stuff, but there's probably a hell of a lot more diamonds on this earth than you think, and... There's a lot of different ways and qualities that you can make them and all this type of stuff. You don't know what the hell you're getting. But with silver and gold, if you're getting coins and it's just 100% silver, 100% gold, you know what the hell you got. Especially if it's minted coins from the largest mints, especially the government mints. But that being said, we should also examine, you know, I also want to say something else because... Uh, you know, I got this other cat here, you see, uh, you know, you don't see him too much. His name is uh, Rocky Caesar, and uh, that's the name I gave him because I like him. I think he's a good cat, and uh, he don't like people too much. But, you know, I was watching something on YouTube about, you know, somebody talked to cats, and I was talking to him, and he's like, he's doing a slow eye blink, and it means he's like, he's fine with everything, supposedly, you know. And, you know, it almost goes back to some of that ancient wisdom talking about because people used to revere cats thousands of years ago, didn't they? <laughs> didn't they? That's why I think the truth is mighty and it shall prevail. Prevail. That's an old Roman saying that's been around a long time too. Silver's going to prevail. Silver will prevail. The truth is mighty. It's not going to be the be-all, end-all of everything, but it's going to prevail over all the financial fluff that's out there. Now, something, uh, if you want to get back to some facts here real recently, uh, the S&P, we have two indications, basically, two people, basically, I've mentioned this before. Warren Buffett talked about beware of paper currencies. Paper currencies. Now, this is obvious because of what? The debt that's being piled in on the government, and they're basically the only way they can... They're trying to spend their way out of this situation. It's going on everywhere across the world. He said to beware of paper currencies, which is telling you that, ergo, what's the other side of that? Physical assets, right? And you don't know what Warren Buffett says, has actually. You know what he says, right? But you don't know actually what he has. You know, this guy could have a load of gold. He ain't going to know. You know, I can tell you that some of these Russian oligarchs they have tons of stuff, tons of stuff, and casium isotopes and, you know, copper isotopes and things like that, and guess what? It's not public knowledge, they don't tell people, but they have it, they have it. That's where Warren Buffett might actually be, you know, he might be a gold stacker for all you know, he could be. He could very well be. I think he is, to tell you the truth. Not the only thing he's doing, but that's one of the things he's doing. And, you know, Warren, uh, talked about George Soros about the S&P. Now, this is a very important point because, you know, something came to light I saw today. Well, I knew about this, but I actually saw a report today from something. The P.E. ratio is the highest it's been since uh, we had the peak last time in the S&P where it started dropping off, which was October 9th, 2007. I know it didn't crash then, but that was the peak of the P.E. ratio. 
and it started dropping off and we had you know the major crashes in like 2009 a couple years later and the thing is the PE ratio right now is still is, is way high for the, the equities and what did George Soros do he put a large bearers bet on the S&P as of he started to bet in August, mid-August of 2013. He's still holding on. That's what I could tell, from what I could tell. Didn't play out yet. If, you know, if it was a short-term bet, it looks like that's what he's holding on with. It's going to happen sometime in 2014. It's not to really holding up these equities. So, the trend is reversing itself. Now, I have to say something about some of these religious people that put stuff out here, you know, these pastors, and it could be any one of them because, you know, they, they make me sick a lot of times because, uh, you know, I'd have a lot more respect for these religious pastors, you know, pumping the financial stuff, the uh, silver and stuff. You know, I'd have a lot more respect for them if they had a used car lot and an auto body shop and a church and they blessed the cars and they still got their non-profit, you know, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, Jesus all the time, and I'm blessing the cars, therefore I don't have to pay taxes, and you can get a holy car that I fixed in my body shop, and I sold in my used car lot, because at least the guy would be actually physically doing some work for some people, you know? You know, right now, I, I see a lot of these pastors, and I can name a bunch of them, they're nothing but hot air, that's all they are. That's all they are, and they, they get money for being hot air, <clears throat> and uh, they're wrong. They're wrong a lot. Now, um, you know, I got a beef with that type of stuff because, you know, I don't know, people trust them because they talk about Jesus, but, you know, there is, I'm going to say this, you know, it may be unpopular, but there is a lot of anti-Semitism out there because, these pastors, if they were rabbis, you know, rabbi would do this, you know, because they're not trying to convert the whole public into, you know, Judaism. But if they were rabbis and they said this, I, I guarantee you uh, the, the, the vast majority of people on YouTube would be slamming them that there were connections with the Rothschilds and all this other stuff. But when they play the Christian card, you know, it's like, oh, well, he tried, you know, you know, you know. He, the elite didn't always get their way. Bullshit. Bullshit. No way. <laughs> no way. You know, I don't think you should mix religion with uh, financial, uh, you know, adventures. Adventures. You know, that's one thing that I don't think belongs. You know, and I don't understand why a pastor who gets, uh, you know, not, you know, they don't have to pay taxes, they're non-profit, they're exempt from this, they got all these perks and stuff like that. Why they should be in the business of business? Because it's basically what they are. Now, if they are flat out selling used cars and had an auto body shop, I'd actually have more respect for them and, than what they're doing right now. Because all they're telling me is a bunch of snake oil. So, I don't like these guys. But that being said, uh, you know... You know, what the hell. I have to say something, too, because, you know, I'm from New Jersey. And, like, you know, obviously I'm not living in New Jersey. I'm living in the South. But, you know, two of the states in the United States that had a net run out of the states, uh, these two states in the last 10 years, was New Jersey and New York. You know why? Because the damn states are getting communistic and socialistic as all hell. You know? And, you know, the people that remain there, a lot of them, I don't know what's going on with because, you know, I feel sorry for them because they're stuck in a communist, socialistic trap. But, uh, you know, it's like, you know, we're going to have to go back to grassroots all the way with this type of stuff because a lot of people are missing the point with silver. They look at it as a get-rich scheme. You know what? It probably is going to be a get-rich scheme at some point in time. But you know when that's going to be a get-rich scheme? It's going to be a get-rich scheme for the few that stuck it out now. And it's going to be a big loss for the people that are panicking and buying it at the high. And, you know, it's going to probably be these pastors that are going to be pumping it to you at any price. 
while they're smiling all the way to the bank. You know, I'll talk about one of them, Harold Campy. But, you know, pretty much there's a whole slew of them in that same camp. So, just be aware of religion sometimes. But, uh, you know, uh, I think the ancients were a little more smart about some of these things, too, in a lot of ways. Because, uh, who the hell knows, maybe they knew a lot more than uh, we think we know today in many respects. So, uh, silver is one of them. Silver is one of them. But, you know, it's a lot of different things. It's healing with nature. It's even about the cats. I'm surprised. I think these I think these cats understand English, for crying out loud. I think they're a little smarter than you think. I think they're a little smarter than you think. A lot of people don't realize that. Maybe that's why they were revered so much way back when. Who the hell knows? But, you know, sometimes the ancient wisdom is the best wisdom. You know why? Because there's an old saying. They used to say this back in Rome all the time too. The truth is mighty, and it shall be, and it shall prevail. And you know what? The truth is that silver is actually a best means of exchange and money going. Period. It's the money of the common man, the money of the person that actually produces the actual common man, productive middle class worker, the ones that produce for the other people. Not the financial crowd, not the people in Wall Street, because they're basically the parasites. They're the parasites. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, and Rocky Caesar says, uh, stay true to your investment because it's going to play out. He's not scared, and you shouldn't be too.